Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 3rd, 2019. So you might be able to hear my voice. I'm still uh, struggling with this cold. Um, hopefully I won't be coughing or sneezing during this video. I'll try to pre prevent that. Um, as we look at the market this morning, First off, yesterday we had a nice recovery. We had um, obviously a gap down open of about 350 points and then positive comments from the president on trade negotiations um, gave us a lift and we were um, able to rally all the way back up to a positive close in the Dow yesterday. And as you can see, a nice, nice move and we were pushing right up against this resistance. Unfortunately, during the night, or uh, during the evening, I shouldn't say, uh, should say, we had um, uh, some bad news come out about Apple. Apple, uh, Tim Cook um, reported that Apple's revenue projections are going to be substantially uh, lower and uh, we're looking at a gap down open of more than 300 points this morning as a result hasn't wiped out this bullish day yet that's a good sign as long as we can hold on to that that is a good sign but i got to tell you I, i'm a little bit concerned that the selling could spill over into other companies that are heavily affected by um, the trade war, um, there could be some fear that would rise up as a result because he, uh, Tim Cook really pointed to um, heavily blaming uh, trade war and China sell sales for their declining revenue. Now, I'm not sure that's entirely true. You know, we're always going to point blame and, and focus it to one uh, place or another but what we could experience is some spillover selling into other companies that are affected in the trade war just uh, market speculating that they could see declining revenues as well so um, we'll have to wait and see how this how this plays out but obviously this morning a uh, pretty nasty gap down and that's been rallying um this morning as we're heading toward the open we've been down as much as 400 points right now the dow futures are only down 307 points but um clearly there'll be some pressure some selling here this morning that certainly could spill over as soon as the market opens so watch that closely we want to make sure and pay attention to that gap just in case you know if it is not supported by the sellers meaning we um, let's say our market closed here for the day and we're looking at a, a short-term chart and we gap down here at the open if buyers start picking that up at the open if we see buyers picking things back up moving us higher we could be in good shape but what we want to watch for is that potential that sellers will quickly come in and take over pushing uh, that market lower so we'll want to watch that opening gap pretty closely watching for that potential of those sellers coming through and supporting that gap pushing the markets even lower so watch that closely there could be some little bit of panic maybe even coming into the market we'll have to wait and see let's take a look at the spy SPY, by the way, um, Apple is very heavily weighted in um, the diamonds, the spiders, and the cues. So <clears throat> all of our markets are being affected this morning, except for the small cap sector. And as you can see, we're gapping down this morning here. We're losing some support levels um, in the SPY and um, seeing some nasty selling here. Uh, by the way, if we do really um, officially um, heavily sell off, remember we've got long ways to go to find price supports um, just simply because we went up so fast without stopping to build any levels of support. So we could see some ugly selling if that were to uh, get going here. Let's take a look at the queues real quickly. Queues also um, obviously uh, being heavily weighted in the tech sector. Apple is going to have a massive effect here on the queues. If this holds 
right in this area where it's about to open right now if it holds in this area and we can see buyers start to support that it may not have as major effect as um uh, as I might, I could might be thinking, um, if it cannot hold in this area and we see those sellers come in, expect um, a test down in here, um, very likely. So watch that closely. Let's hope the bulls kind of hang on in here and this selling doesn't spill over into um, other sectors of the market. Let's take a look at um, IWM here real quickly. IWM, you can see, is gapping down, but not as heavily affected as the other indexes because Apple's not um, weighted in uh, the small cap sector, obviously. And as you can see, it's holding up uh, against a, a pretty substantial resistance area. Um, we'll have to wait and see if um, overall selling pushes this lower or if it can continue to hold up in this area if uh, obviously if IWM can 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 breach above this level of resistance and hold up here then IWM would have some potential to move higher um, it's just we've got to deal with that that ugly resistance right here and this morning's gap down it certainly isn't going to help that that picture improve let's take a look at the VIX the VIX has been on a nice decline. I would, I would guess, this is just only a guess, I would guess that we will see with this 350, 300 point gap down this morning, we will see a little bit of fear coming back into the market. Now, if that fear really starts to manifest itself in um, a bunch of additional follow through selling uh, this morning, then we could really start to see that fear come right back above this um, resistance area and spike up. We don't want to see that happen. Obviously, we want to see that fear stay a little bit calm. But I think this was a shocking blow to the market. Um, everyone has kind of counted on Apple for a long time to be that bellwether. And uh, this, this could be a damaging blow for a period of time. So kind of keep an eye on that VIX and make sure that fear doesn't spike or actually turn into panic. Let's take a quick look um, at T21. 22 that four week new high new low ratio and as you can see on that four week new high new low ratio we moved down yesterday but rallied all the way back up on that po those positive comments about trade from the president so we're up here in this 50% area or this middle zone, which tells us we have plenty of room for upside potential and um, obviously plenty of room for downside potential here. So we'll have to watch both ways. With this gap down this morning, we could see that selling be um, really pick up maybe and push us down toward that reversal zone uh, down here that bullish reversal zone um, that's one of the nasty things about these big spikes is we can really quickly take it away fast um, it just it just disappears really quickly so hopefully that doesn't occur hopefully we we stay up and uh, kind of hold on let's uh, take a look at our economic calendar today we have a bunch on the calendar today to pay attention to first off we have adp employment report we have jobless claims and we have the ism manufacturing report um, at 10 o'clock so we have a pretty big morning here um, coming in there's also the construction spending later on in the day we have uh, the fed balance sheet i don't expect that to move the market um, around at all and a few bond announcements but this morning um, activity up here will be pretty substantial and then keep in mind we have the big um, number on Friday that employment situation number that will be really important to the market as well as um, when the Fed chair speaks um, everyone um, is going to want to pay attention to that tomorrow morning so keep an eye on those items on the earnings calendar we have about 14 companies reporting earnings today I kind of doubt with the with the news and things going on right now that Earnings reports will move the market a whole lot today, but we will want to uh, stay focused on that. When it comes to companies, uh, p potential places to trade, things to look at um, in trades, uh, you know, there's quite a few stocks showing signs on an hourly basis. If I go to um, um, a simple hourly chart and we look at stocks like... Um, 
NVIDIA. NVIDIA starting to show um, that little bit of an hourly rally going on now with this gap down um, in Apple. That could change everything. Um, we've had quite a few of these hourly charts starting to show improvement, but uh, today could be a game changer. Um, I've been looking at stocks like Facebook trying to break its downtrend here yesterday. Really nice bullish engulfing candle opportunity here maybe for a trade. Now this morning that could be kind of tossed into question as uh, some of the techs will be uh, maybe reevaluated here. Um, going forward, we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Amazon was trying to make a nice statement yesterday, a nice bullish engulfing candle trying to break back through. So we're starting to see some of those techs recover and it was starting to look uh, really good. Now this morning's gap down could certainly change that. So kind of keep an eye on those. Other places you might want to look uh, for potential trades, um, uh, gold, um, Gold seems to be a uh, you know one of those safe havens right right now. Gold's looking very very strong, holding up in here. Gold uh, stocks like NEM, gold miners, NEM holding up well. Uh, another stock to maybe take a look at uh, Pan W. Pan W is trying to um, recover here out of this move, and if we take a look at this on a on an hourly basis, you can see yesterday it, it it ran into some resistance here on an hourly basis, hit that downtrend and pulled back. But Pan W has been trying to pick up here and and do a little recover recovery. So a uh, few stocks to to maybe look at, keep on your watch list. But there is a lot of uh, concern this morning. Uh, for the market. So we'll have to be really, really careful with that. So everyone, hey, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much for all of the comments and kind words that you guys have been uh, putting out there. I truly appreciate that. Also, um, please feel free to share these videos with any friends or family. With that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. Be really careful today be uh, very watchful of this price action. We could see a lot of whipping around, a lot of fear um, possibly coming into the market. So we'll want to stay really focused to that price action, be flexible, and remember that you don't have to trade to be successful. Um, don't have to trade every day to be successful as a trader. Sometimes it's better to stand aside, keep your hands in your pockets, your hands away from that, um, uh, that mouse uh, on your computer and avoid trading trading until things calm down and settle out here just a little bit. When that Once that settles down, there may be some really good trading, uh, but be really careful with this open. We could see a lot of thrashing around. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.